Sirius XM host Megyn Kelly, who has had a tumultuous relationship with former President Donald Trump, revealed a surprising and unexpected announcement involving the two. Kelly, who recently expressed her regret in taking the COVID-19 vaccine, seems to be turning a new leaf with her conservative identity. Again, I'm Steve Inman with Resist the Mainstream, reporting the news that the mainstream won't. Of course, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest reports. Well, prior to her latest announcement involving Trump, Megyn Kelly obviously resurfaced in the headlines when she spoke about a recent doctor's visit where she was told she had an autoimmune issue. She shared her experience during an interview with journalist David Zweig on her Sirius XM show as seen here. Regret getting the vaccine, even though I'm a 52-year-old woman, because I don't think I needed it. I think I would have been fine. I'd got COVID many times and I it was well past when the vac- vaccine was doing what it was supposed to be doing. Um, and then for the first time, I tested positive for an autoimmune issue at my annual physical. Hmm. And I asked, I went, I went to the best rheumatologist in New York and I asked her, do you think this could have to do with the fact that I got the damn booster and then got COVID within three weeks? And she said, yes, yes. I wasn't the only one she'd seen that with. Two years ago, Kelly was a proponent of vaccines. In April of 2021, she posted to Twitter, I'm getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine this weekend. Had zero qualms because I've spent a life immersed in a media obsessed with fear-mongering that is often irresponsible and untrue. Do what your doctor tells you to do and ignore everyone else. How untrue was that and how did that turn out? However, the deterioration of her health The unexpected death of her sister, Suzanne Crossley, 58, of a heart attack and multiple reports of young, healthy people dying suddenly have changed her view. The Western Journal reported that Kelly now desires to be a beacon of light, warning others about the possible dangers of blind obedience to the so-called experts. Last month, USA Today reported that life insurance actuaries are noting many more younger people are dying than before the pandemic. The report notes a 34% increase in deaths of people 35 to 55 years old. January 2023 headline in Biz News read, normalization of sudden death surge among athletes demonstrates the extent of our social pathology. It's certainly interesting to see Kelly change her beliefs in something she was once very supportive of, which is why she made headlines once again in a recent episode of her show, where she stated she will interview the leading GOP candidate and former president Donald Trump on September 14th. I want to start today with a big announcement. Huge, huge, you might say. Here at the Megyn Kelly Show, we've welcomed many of the 2024 contenders. Vivek Ramaswamy has been on a bunch of times, Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, Chris Christie. You may remember my lengthy sit down just last month or late July with Governor Ron DeSantis. Even RFKJ has been here since his announcement as well as before. But next week, I'll be interviewing former President Donald Trump. It will be my first interview with a former president in seven years. And there is so much to get to. I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be great. Uh, It's going to be spicy and it's going to be tough, but it's going to be good. And hopefully we're both going to enjoy it. Uh, I think you're all going to enjoy it a lot, too. We're going to have a lot of time to get into a variety of topics in person, sitting down with him in person. And then we will air it in full on Sirius XM Thursday, September 14th. The interview will air on The Megyn Kelly Show. Notably, Kelly has not interviewed Trump since 2015. According to The Daily Caller, though Kelly is a conservative, her relationship with Trump soared after she pointedly asked him about his past treatment of women during a 2015 debate. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account- Only Rosie several- O'Donnell. It was well beyond Rosie O'Donnell. Yes, I'm sure it was. Your Twitter account has several disparaging comments about women's looks. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. Does that sound to you like the temperament of a man we should elect as president? And how will you answer the charge from Hillary Clinton, who is likely to be the Democratic nominee, that you are part of the war on women. Well, the calendar is marked and I'm sure it'll be filled with many anticipated debate topics and classic Trump responses. Maybe the two can manage to come to some kind of agreement with one another. Do you think Megyn Kelly and former President Donald Trump can put their differences aside? Are things going to be different this time around? Or will the interview be short-lived? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching Resist the Mainstream, reporting the news that the mainstream won't. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and of course, hit the notification bell to stay up to date. 
Till next time, take care, and we'll see you then.